Jayanda Mahabatra's Summer is a very short poem. The poem opens with a line consisting of only two words, which certainly arouse our curiosity, but which give not the least indication as to what the poet wants to say. The opening line is, Not yet. Then we read on the poem in order to find out what is not yet to take place or to happen or to be done. The next three lines contain a picture of the cold ashes of a fire which had been lighted under a mango tree but which had subsequently gone out. Evidently, the person or the persons who had lighted the fire have left the spot. Then we come across a one-line question which is who needs the future. The question who needs the future is not directly answered. Instead, we are given a picture in four lines of a 10-year-old girl combing her mother's hair. Here we are told something which is very common. Every girl in our families combs her mother's hair. But the mother's hair is here depicted as a place where crows are at rest in their nests. Evidently, we have here an idea expressed in metaphorical language. The crows here are not actual crows, but crows of rivalries. The reference perhaps is to the rivalries and jealousies which exist in the mother's head and which are at this time not agitating her. In other words, the mother is not at this time feeling much perturbed by her usual thoughts and domestic rivalries or the rivalries among the neighbors. Next, the poet says that the home will never be hers. Here, perhaps the poet means to say that the 10-year-old girl would never be able to call this home her own. Finally, we have another picture which literally has no meaning and which therefore has to be interpreted metaphorically. In a corner of the girl's mind, a green mango drops silently down to the earth from the branch of a mango tree. This probably means that a hope or an expectation has already come to nothing. A green mango is unripe and its falling to the ground is premature. In the same way, some hope existing in the youthful heart has come to an end prematurely. The poem reads like a riddle, but the imagery is most realistic and vivid so that we can find our own meanings in it.